Hey what's up guys this is Kitty Cloudy and Android Oreo is all out and official and it's been about a week or so but only for the latest Nexus and Pixel phones. And voila, here we have a ported 8.0 Oreo ROM straight out of the Android open source project up and running on this Nexus 5. Now first up, huge shout out to the developer Santosh Subramanyam who has been hard at work in pushing out this build. And in the XDA post, he mentions that this is a very super super early build with guaranteed bugs and zero stability to be expected. So yeah, I took up the daring task to flash it on my Nexus 5 using Twop, which was easy and also unofficial Oreo G apps which I will link below. Now once I booted into the system, I was greeted by the fresh AOSP experience, but slowly as I started to get all my apps and wallpapers set up, I noticed a bunch of issues which might affect the flashing decision of a lot of people. So let's address those first. Number one, performance is really, really choppy. Just going into the settings or opening the notification tray makes the Nexus 5 struggle a lot, which is kind of a deal breaker, but well, not a surprise. Number two, battery life is really, really weird. I left it on idle for about half an hour at 60% and I come back and see it just overheated really, really bad and the battery dropped all the way down to 15%. So yeah, crazy battery drain, but again, not a surprise. Number three, the sensors absolutely don't work. Uh, now, looking at a sensor testing app, it just straight up says no sensors present in the device. Also not a surprise. So if you try to rotate the screen, it won't work. And if you try using adaptive brightness, that won't work as well. Number four, all the connectivity services like Bluetooth, location, and even SIM network don't work. Also not a surprise. Now mostly these issues are due to the fact that the Nexus 5 has become a really old device and the chipset and the binaries and the HALs have been really outdated so updating them and modifying them one by one is a pretty daunting task for the developer so we need to be patient. But you must be sitting and thinking what does actually work with this ROM? Well since it's Oreo the latest version of Android all the latest new features are present without any handicaps. Notification dots the new quick settings, notification snoozing, the new settings app, notification channels, adaptive icons and even the octopus easter egg. Every Oreo feature works, at least for now. So the bottom line is that this is clearly a work in progress and issues will be fixed with updates. And at this point, there is no point of pointing out flaws over this and it's definitely not daily driver material if you're wondering. But still, if you're getting impatient, you can just back up your existing ROM using Twop, flash this, get a taste of Oreo, and once you're done, hop back to your original ROM. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can definitely check out my previous two videos on Android O if you want to know more about the features. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching again. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.